Hey YouTube, what's up? As you can see the title of this video, Lack of Respect with Newer Generations. That's what I'm talking about right now. If you are a younger person that is probably in their 20s, about 10 years younger than me because I'm 35, if you're 25 or below and you think that you know everything, I'm going to tell you this right now, you don't know everything. Because you know what? I thought the same way as you at one time. Right now, you're young and dumb and think you know everything. Believe me, life experience will teach you otherwise. What is really wrong with these people that are in their 20s now, considering it's a whole different era of parenting now because of CPS getting involved if you discipline your children? It is wrong, considered wrong, to whoop your kids if they're bad. If you whoop your kids and you beat their butt, it is not okay anymore. Oh no, 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 no. You gotta give them a time out if they do something wrong. Well, you wanna know what? Excuse my language, but my granddaddy that raised me, he took time out of his busy day to whoop my ass when I did something wrong. And you know what? I'm glad him and my grandmother whooped my ass. Cause you know what? They taught me the value of respecting people. Yeah, it might have hurt because I got hit when I was wrong. But you know what? You learn from it when you're disciplined correctly. And you know what? Because there's lack of discipline, you got all this new generation growing up thinking that they can talk to people however they want. And there's no consequence to it. That is not the way life is. And I'm sorry, if you're a young person and you're watching this and you get offended by what I say, oh well. If I strike a nerve, good. Change your behavior. Start respecting people older than you. Start showing them that you're not a punk if you're if you're a man if you're a young man. And ladies, if you're young in your late teens, transitioning into your 20s, I'm going to tell you this now. It is not flattering to cuss like a sailor. Yes, I do cuss. I will admit that. But you know what? Everybody has their breaking point when they are, you know, talked down to you by somebody younger than them. And that person thinks that they know everything about you when they know nothing at all. This video is actually being made because of a person on Facebook that thought it was okay to contact me, not friend me. No, 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 no. They didn't friend me. They messaged, they messaged me and they proceeded to ask me for my phone number and when I asked them why they wanted my phone number, they said to text. I was like, okay. So I gave them my text now number. I'm not going to give them my real number. No, 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 no. No. You never give anybody you don't know your real information. No. That's why I've got a text now number set up. Good, good thinking on my part because this little guy, this man I'm talking about, or boy, actually, I would say, does not know how to talk to women whatsoever. Because he got that number and started texting me. I called him and we tried to ask him, what are you trying to find out? What do you want? He wouldn't give me a direct answer. And then on Facebook, he messages me and says, can I date you? And I reply with, didn't you read my profile? I'm not single. How am I going to date you? How am I going to reciprocate what you're saying that you feel for someone that you've never met, never talked to, if I'm not able to do that because I'm with someone. You know, we asked him to not, you know, continue that conversation and to leave it alone. Completely. Leave it alone. Just a little while ago, I checked my phone that I do a lot of uh, social networking on. I have Instagram on it. I have Tumblr and uh, Facebook and all that stuff. I also have my text now number app on it and I had a text message from him 
and it was something to the effect of shut up you effing ho this would be why I'm saying if you're young you think you know it all but you don't and this is what is wrong with the world today because kids are getting away with murder basically and thinking that you know they can go through life and mistreat people and they will never face one single consequence for their actions not true because you know what this person that said that to me I told them you message me on Facebook you text me or call me and you are disrespectful to me and say those things to me one more time I told them I will contact the local PD where you are and get you in, put in jail and I will contact an attorney and sue you for slander and defamation of character because you do not know me and you are calling me a hoe and other various things that you have no proof of if I have to teach somebody a hard lesson in life because they think it's okay to verbally bash somebody because they can't have what they want then they're gonna get a hard lesson and if that hard lesson includes jail time and being sued so be it I even told this young man that he could even he could even involve his parents because I would love to tell his parents what he's been texting me and what he messaged me on Facebook too that way they're aware of what kind of person they raised because they did or did not even try to discipline him when he was a kid and this is the outcome of not doing anything the way people used to do it with their kids you know this kind of scares me because I don't have custody of my children right now and this freaks me out knowing the people that are raising my kids how are they doing this are they disciplining them at all or are they letting them get away with everything because you know what they come find me and they're rude and obnoxious and everything I will put my kids in their place I don't care how old they are they will not disrespect me I'm their mother you're gonna give me respect and if you want to go further than respect it's even biblical honor your parents it's in the Ten Commandments people remember if you're a Christian it says honor thy mother and thy father and you know disrespecting them is not honoring them and you're going to get put in your place if you're disrespecting your parents flat out you're good if your parents are good people they will put you on you know in your place because you need to learn that you can't get away with that crap and think that you'll never end up in jail or be sued for what your mouth spews out it kind of goes inside with this one too your mouth can be a two-edged sword And if you're not sure what that is, maybe you should look it up in the Bible because it's in there. I'm not going to do all your homework for you. Why don't you look it up and read for yourself what God has to say about that? It's not very good. It's not very good to, you know, to be good and, you know, beautiful like roses, you know, praising God one moment. And then when you're not in church or around people that are... Christians like you it's not okay to go and verbally spew venom toward other people that's what I mean by a sword that has two edges you can be nice at one moment towards somebody and then you can spew venom at them the next but I honestly do think you should look up the biblical on that because it goes into more detail than what I'm saying and I'm not gonna go too much into the biblical because this channel does not do Bible stuff so I will you know not go any further into that but that is something I think that young people should read because it's something they should know because obviously parents today are not teaching their kids anything like that and I'm sure my husband will agree with me yep. you run into it day in day out it's not only just this guy that messaged me that's 10 years younger than me that I dealt with online and, and on the phone it's also um, when you
you get on a city bus? Okay, this is an example I've seen tons of times. Okay, me riding a city bus. There's elderly people that ride the bus. They have walkers. They have canes. Because they, they don't walk around very well anymore because they're old. Okay, I've actually seen these people get on the bus and the bus be full. And, you know, these young people that are sitting in these seats that are reserved for these elderly and disabled people, they don't want to move. Because a young... Just, just an example, an elder, elderly man I actually heard of from somebody actually asked someone, can you please move because I need to sit down. That person basically looked at the old man and told him to go F himself and wouldn't move. Luckily, a good person sitting next to the disrespectful one made them get up. They physically got them up out of that seat and said, you're going to give that seat to that elderly person because they need to sit down. You are young, you are healthy, you can stand. They're not. That's just another example of no respect whatsoever for your elderly people out there. One day, yes, I'm going to be that age too. You know, I've got another, what, 20 years before then? Got another 20 years left, and then I'll be considered that way too. I don't want people treating me like that if I ride the bus. I don't want to be disrespected if I ask them to move. They should just know better and just get up and do what they're supposed to out of respect for other people. And you know what? This goes for disabled people too. And I'm talking truly disabled people. Not only the elderly, but when disabled people are using electronic carts because they have injuries that you may not be able to see or they need to sit in a seat on a bus that's closer to the front entrance, do not judge them if you do not see what's wrong with them. Just because you can't physically see it does not mean they're not disabled. You need to give them enough respect. If they say, can you please move? I can't stand. Just be, be a good person. Give them that respect and move. Don't ignore them and tell them to go F themselves because they're disabled. You know, if they have a legitimate reason for asking then, you know, just do what's right and show an example to your friends. If they don't want to do it, show your friends the good way to be toward people, not this nasty way. You know, I've seen it even sitting at a bus stop, okay? You look at somebody on the West Coast, you smile at them and say hi, and all of a sudden they're getting up in your grill wanting to whoop your butt because you said hi. What's wrong with that? You're not being threatening. You're not wanting to hurt nobody. You're just being friendly. Friendliness has went out the window. And I don't know what's wrong with that. What is wrong with being nice to people? What has happened about people being respectful and friendly to each other? It's like the world has lost its humanity completely. Like the human being, you know, the humanity thing is like being kind and considerate to other people. Treat others as you want to be treated, so to speak. And all of that has been, like, lost. It's like people don't think that way anymore because they just don't care. Maybe you should care, you know. Maybe you should. You know, that's just my opinion, though. Maybe you should care. But, yeah, you can also lead by example, too, like my husband just pointed out. But, anyway, you know, that was basically what I wanted to say, um... Again, if this is offensive to anybody, I'm not going to apologize. If you want to leave me nasty comments, go right ahead. Because you know what? It's not going to phase me a bit. Because I'm not like you. I respect people that are older than me. I respect people, period. Because every person on this planet matters. And you know what? You may not understand this or want to understand it. But every single person on this planet that's breathing and alive has feelings. You don't want to hurt them on purpose and think it's okay. Because you know what? You have no idea how that could affect them in the long run. Just a stranger on the street treating you like crap can make you feel like you're nothing. Because I've seen it. I've seen it happen. And it's not okay either. 
But anyway, with that final thought, I'm going to go ahead and go. Um, subscribe to my channel if you like. Give this video a like. Give it a dislike. Send me a comment below. Um, you can message me on Kick. I'll leave my username there. Um, if you'd like to send me some mail, I'll leave my snail mail address in the description as well. I haven't received any mail, like I've said in my past videos, but hopefully that will change. Because I would love to hear from even my subscribers if they'd like to just drop me a little note in the mail and just say, Hello, that'd be cool. It doesn't have to be anything like, you know, big or fancy or anything like that. Just a little note or post postcard or something, that'd be cool. Um, anyway, I will talk to you all later. You guys have a wonderful weekend. Peace.